Hello and welcome to Criticizing TV for the summer semester 2022. I just wanted to give a brief overview of what you can expect from this course and what we've got coming down the line this semester. So first of all, um, to introduce myself, my name is Nicholas Shannon Savard. I will be the instructor for this course. Um, you can call me Nicholas. Shannon or Dr. Savard, conveniently, doctor is a gender neutral honorific. Um, I use the pronouns they, them, and theirs. So if at the end of the semester you really enjoyed this course and you want to recommend it to a friend for the following semester, you might say something like, hey, have you met Nicholas? I am in their Crit TV course and I am really enjoying it. They are so smart and so helpful. You should really take a class with them. Or, hey, maybe mid-semester you are a bit frustrated with me. It tends to happen, particularly in the revision process for writing. You might say something like, ugh, I can't believe they are making me revise my thesis again. Either way, use the right pronouns. It's just a replacement word for a name. So I live in Columbus with my partner and our pet rabbit named The Loaf. Um, his pronouns are he, him, and also queen because he is a big old diva. So I graduated with my PhD in theater last summer from Right here at OSU, I spent a few years as a GTA. Now I'm working as a lecturer in the Department of Theater, Film, and Media Arts. I wrote my dissertation on transgender representation in theater, which we do talk a bit about in this course in the context of film and TV. Um, so I think a lot about representation and identity and diversity and what kinds of stories do we tell about ourselves? What kinds of stories do we tell about people who are not like us? And how do we kind of make sense of the world through the stories that we tell to each other and that we consume on our own time and together? So those are kind of some of the central themes and what kind of lens I'm bringing to this course. Um, other general info before I move on, my office hours are on Mondays, officially from 10 to noon. My office is in the Drake Performance and Event Center, which you can find, if we're looking at this map over here, um, we've got the Oval right here, our engineering and sciences buildings up in this corner. If you head down past the RPAC and the football stadium out to Cannon Drive, the Drake is right across the street from Morrill and Lincoln Tower. Um, I am in room 2058 up on the second floor um, and I'll be there most of the day Monday, including during my office hours. Um, I'm also available on Zoom just send me a message and we will find a time to touch base if you are not on campus this summer. All right, so quick details of the course. Criticizing TV is a course that fulfills two different GE requirements. Uh, so first is the level two writing, gen ed, and second is the social diversity in the United States. Uh, so we will be exploring those just about equally and together as much as we can here. Uh, this is a distance learning course with asynchronous delivery. So that means that you will be doing weekly assignments, both individually and working with other people, but in a way that you do it on your own time week by week, rather than have us having a regular class meeting. Um, this is going to last 12 weeks from today through July 29th. Um, and we're going to be using primarily Carmen, a little bit of Google Drive, 
we're going to be creating a blog together using the u.osu.edu blogging platform. So when we say criticizing TV, what exactly does that even mean? So if we're thinking about television, even that's the thing that we engage with regularly, that's still something that has shifted in meaning quite a bit, particularly in recent years. Um, so rather than trying to cover all of the history of TV um, and its development into streaming platforms that don't even need to be accessed with a regular television set anymore, we're going to kind of narrow our focus. Um, most of what I assigned from you is going to come from specifically Netflix, uh, mostly because it's a lot easier in terms of engaging asynchronously. You can watch different episodes on your own time. Um, it only requires one subscription rather than trying to work across multiple different platforms. So when we say criticism, often the first thing we think of is like being criticized and that negative connotation um, of like picking something apart in a negative way. So that's not really what we mean here. When I say criticism in this context, um, I'm talking about critical analysis, which is basically a close examination and evaluation of text and discourse. So text, is kind of really defined broadly here to mean like any sort of visual or linguistic kind of artistic production. The text that we're going to be looking at here is different TV series for the most part. And discourse boiled down just means public conversation. So, Criticism can also mean interpretation of meaning within a specific cultural context. For us, that is going to be the contemporary US um, and asking questions about how does the broader culture surrounding this text impact what texts are created, how they get distributed and how they are received by the audiences watching them. So with our critical analysis, we're going to be employing what are called critical lenses. Um, so drawing on that idea of social diversity in the United States, we are going to be looking throughout the semester at race, gender, sexuality, religion, class, disability, and how all of these things that kind of make up cultural identity and how we move through the world. How do these show up in our TV texts? So our three major critical lenses that we're going to be looking at, at this through is first representation, looking at whose stories get told, how, by whom. Then we'll move into critical discourse analysis. Um, looking at how is this text contributing to ongoing public conversations, and also what are those conversations happening around it. Um, there we'll be looking quite a bit um, at social media, at different controversies surrounding events that have been televised, surrounding specific shows, that sort of thing. Um, and then finally, we'll move into cultural work, thinking about what is this piece of media doing for the audience watching at home? Um, imagining TV, not just as this static thing, but um, something that audiences actively engage with and that shapes the way that they think about the world and the kinds of conversations that they have. Overview of assignments and what this is going to look like in the day to day. Uh, so I've got a screenshot here of our Carmen page and what this is generally going to look like week to week. Um, so here we've got week three up at the top in the module you're going to have the lecture. Um, for that week I have a variety of articles that you can choose. I'm going to have you pick two rather than read all of them. Um, 
I've got a couple of different episodes on Netflix for you to watch. And with that material from the lecture, from the readings, from the TV episodes, you're going to do a writing exercise. Most of the time, those are going to be due on Tuesdays, except for this week, since the class just got launched. It seems unfair to give you just a few hours to do that. Uh, So this week, it's going to be Friday. Most of the time, it's going to be Tuesdays. So the goal of our weekly writing exercises um, is to engage with the week's assigned materials and to apply concepts introduced in the lecture, um, and also to practice targeted writing techniques that are going to help you later on in in the semester. Uh, These can also serve as a sort of space to work through your ideas and to formulate those early drafts of what will become your essay blog posts. Uh, So together this semester, we are going to be creating a blog together. Um, I'll have a little bit more information and a tutorial next week about what exactly that is going to look like once we all start contributing to it. But overall, homepage is going to look like this. Uh, It'll be organized into a couple of different sections, including a concept glossary. Um, So you're going to pick three different concepts um, that are relevant to our course to define and give examples of and sort of explain and make accessible to the rest of the course as sort of a collective resource that everyone enrolled in the class can draw upon as they are writing their essays. Uh, so the essays will have three deadlines throughout the semester. It'll be relatively short uh, blog posts. So a minimum of 500 words or so that's like a page or two double spaced. Um, to about 1500 words. So at those three deadlines that are placed at the end of kind of each unit, you'll have a minimum of a thousand words to contribute to the blog so that by the end of the semester, you have a roughly 3000 word portfolio of short essays. So the goal of this blog is to get into the practice of contributing to an ongoing academic conversation rather than uh, thinking in a sort of vacuum. Um, So this is to practice both your critical analysis skills and and drawing on course materials, um, but also being in conversation with one another and with the authors that we are reading throughout the semester. So these are going to be due on Fridays on the specified weeks. Thank you, and I'm looking forward to getting to know all of you this semester.